Hello everyone, this is Gally and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. Today we're going to learn how to draw fans, as in teeth. So here goes. Imagine you have your, your head of your, your character. Right now we already made heads, so you can grab one of your practice drawings of heads. And this time we're going to draw Galidor, my character. So imagine you have the head like this. And the other aspects can come later, like that's not really necessary right now because we're going to make well, just the fangs. So grab any brush you like. Probably a uh, firm one with small size so you can do the details. And we're going to have, uh, of course, again, a reference of any other animal you wish to have. But for example, I'm just going to give you some pointers on dragons, not on any animal, because if I do every animal, we'll never finish. So for example, these are the big um, fangs that go like snakes, kind of, but also like um, a panther or a feline. As you can see in felines, they only have like the big um, fangs here. And then small rows of fangs. Well, not really fangs, they're just the, in the back. But mine is like a mixture of many animals. So in theory, he would have small fangs here in the front. And this one will go over there. So. We'll have small fangs here. And then small fangs in the front. And, for example, if he closes his mouth, one of the fangs will go here. So that means it's here. Maybe you can, like, I don't know, figure out where the other ones go. There are flatter teeth in the back. And this is like the mouth. Um, how do you call that? It's like the membrane on the mouth. If you see pictures of T-Rex, they have that. So you can see he has like the, the gums here, and they're covered by his mouth here. Ta -da, ta -da. Like this is a simplified version. It's not a simple drawing, but it's a simplified idea. Because for example, some animals have Let's just, I don't know, imagine an open mouth, like this. And he would have, like, monkey... No, some monkeys have teeth that are flat in the front so they can eat fruit. But also fangs, because they eat animals as well, like insects and rats and whatnot. And they have, like, the smaller teeth here. And when they open their mouth, you probably can see most of the teeth. Try to imagine it like uh, something like this. It's like two pieces of paper put together. Try to draw them like that and then you'll just figure out. It's really simple once you, once you think about it, like the tongue and such. We're not doing tongues, <laughs> so. But if you want tongues, your dragon can have a forked tongue like a snake, a normal tongue. Or a, like a cat that has like little spikes and it's like this and you can have so many different kinds of things. This is the fun part about drawing and experimenting with your characters is that you can draw anything you want. So this is one example, another example. The other one would be a snake. Just imagine your dragon. For that I would recommend you Google many pictures. For example, I don't know, you don't know how to draw a snake? Well, Google different kinds of snakes because they also have different kinds of fangs. Some of them have like sharks. They have like their, their mouth is like here. Oh, just imagine a little dragon. You could have like the most horrible rows of teeth in the world. Like, you could have them all around the mouth, 
and people will be really creepy. They have like smaller teeth on the top. Sharks, snakes, lions, wolves. This is more like a wolf. This is a monkey. A snake. And a shark. Like, take inspiration from any animal. And, for example, I don't know, if you want your dragon to have like a big tusk, um, Google some some sign. They have this kind of, of mouth. So they will have like the big jaws that will hold them up. You can even have like teeth like this. Ta da! Yeah, like a boar. And, and so on. Like, that's an idea, but that's what I meant when I said, like, take the reference and adapt it. Of course, you're not gonna draw a shark, you're gonna draw a dragon, so it would not have the mouth of a shark, but it would look something like that. It would hold up. The anatomy will be similar, right? So, this is the few ideas we have of our dragons. This could be Quetzalcoatl, the Mexican rain god, I think he was. He is a snake, a feather snake, and he is apparently more close to a dragon than we think. And so we have our different kinds of teeth and teeth, teeth. <laughs> I don't know if it says teeth or tooth or whatever, but yeah, you get the idea. You have the fans here, okay? So this is going to be our one layer of teeth. So just pause the video if you want to look at it more, because I'm gonna change. So as we were talking, just figure the the fangs or the mouth as two pieces of paper if you go like this and you go like this I don't know this is your your animal you can see like the shape the eyes the throat what I do to figure out where they will go of course the the pieces of paper can look like this and not squares but you get the point. So when you're trying to figure out how to draw fangs, first copy your reference and try to understand why the teeth are placed the, in the way they are, and why, because some animals will be uh, herbivores, others will be omnivores, and others will be carnivores, and depending on that, they will have different functions on their teeth, to rip apart, to shred, to bite, to crush, you get the meaning. So if you're going to draw a dragon, they mostly have fangs like a carnivore, because that's what they are. And if you wanted an, a herbivore dragon, which is also possible, you have to figure out how to do the teeth for uh, a herbivore animal, like a sheep or something like that, okay? So that's gonna be your main point first, just reference type of animal, of animal you want to reference. So it's, it's fine if you want to make an omnivore. Because that's that's the depends on that. Your your fangs are going to depend absolutely on what he eats and what he does. So dragons don't really need to to shred something apart, they just munch it. So their their fangs will be different. Try to figure out in dinosaurs, for example. I don't know. The dinosaur Tyrannosaurus Rex. Those were the closest relatives we could probably see that look like a, a dragon. Right now we have chickens and other things, <laughs> but the closest ones we have to dragons are dinosaurs, so we can reference from them and their fangs. For example, a T-Rex has a very long row of fangs that go like this, even in the front, which makes it look so amazing. I love the T-Rex face. Of course, I'm not referencing this, so it might be wrong, but the idea is that you get different ideas on placement, for example. 
these teeth will be facing this way, others could be facing this way, or, or just this way. Like, there's so many things you can do that I really encourage you to look for animals that match whatever you want to do and draw them. And draw them and draw them and draw them. I will never get tired of saying that. Just do it and do it and do it until you learn why. But of course, don't just copy, learn why. Learn why you're doing the teeth you're doing, why they're placed the way they are, what does your animal eat, etc, etc. To create a character, even if it's a dragon, you have to get some things right. And that's, of course, the anatomy. As realistic as possible, if you're doing it cartoony, it also has realistic based um, design. For example, it's not the same as making a realistic dragon with all the scales. You can make, I don't know, a, a dragon that looks so funny with a very cartoony face and everything, but your dragon would also need realistic fangs. Because if you mix up many different kinds of fangs, for example, if you do this and that and then this and a square here, and that, that looks really weird and it's not real, you don't find it anywhere, and I know dragons are not real, but that's just not right. That's not right, don't do that. Don't mix up. Learn from nature, you have nature there, it's everywhere, you have Google now, so no pretexts. Go, reference, and try to make your own fans. So that was all for now guys, if you like this please subscribe, I will make more videos every week. If you have any suggestions or comments, they're welcome, please post them here, I read them all, and thank you!